So after lazy static comes uh, once cell and once cell is it was made after lazy static and it's the more um, um, recommended way like lazy static is still just fine but once cell is uh, it's a little bit more involved but it's also more flexible and the interesting thing is you can see here it's uh, it's moving into the standard library so right now it's uh, it's a nightly only experimental API so you can you can give it a try but it's uh, you need the nightly compiler and uh, probably or possibly when you're watching this video in the future it's uh, it's already going to be there so uh, but in the meantime it's uh, it's inside this once cell crate and the so the interesting thing about this is it's uh, so it's a cell and it'll probably remind you of the uh, the cell type because it's got set and it's got get and what you do is you set um, you set it once and then after that you uh, use get to get a reference uh, to get an option because um, the well the only way this get method can fail is if uh, if you didn't initialize so if you if you're making sure that you uh, that you initialize early and you know um, that uh, that you're going to have something there then uh, then once cell is uh, is fine and um, so the other interesting thing is that a once cell so lazy static you have your lazy static macro and then inside it you have your type and then uh, that becomes uh, static and once cell is like that um, but you can um, so you can initialize it later like let's say you have um, you have you're waiting for user input and you want that to go into into a into a global static and you don't it's not there when you start main but uh, you can you can set it whenever whenever you get the value so you can you can really delay it and also you can stick everything inside a once cell or you can have a type with one once cell or like two once cells so it's uh, it's quite flexible in that way so uh, let's see let's go to the example I have I'm going to paste these use statements in there so uh, once cell sync there's a there's an unsync and there's a sync uh, depending on if you want to have it be thread safe or not that's up to you uh, I'm just using the sync one although we're not passing between the threads and then uh, request uh, we're actually not going to use request except for um, we're imagining that there's this uh, this thing called a logger and it's going to hold some information so it's going to we're imagining that there are some logs and it's going to be a mutex vec logs because uh, you want to change it and I'll just write log here as well log is uh, nothing nothing complicated it's just a message and there's a timestamp and the timestamp is i64 which is usually the which is the um, the number of seconds after the Unix era started in the I forget 70 70 or 73 or something like that uh, and so we've got logs here and URL string so there's that and then there's the client so you imagine that we're doing we're recording something we're logging some input and it uh, has a URL and it has a request client and it's going to send the info to there and then we've got these uh, we want to keep the logs um, as well and uh, so we we have a mutex to change it but this could also be could be like that if that's the way you want to do it or the way this example is doing it is we've got a logger and then we uh, we stick the whole thing inside a once cell so let's make that so you have a global logger and then once cell is pretty easy to start you say okay this is the kind of once cell it is and you have to tell it the type because uh, you say once cell new and you start a once cell and there's nothing in there and it wants to know the type so you uh, you let it know and then um, also here we're going to imagine um, get fetch URL just imagining there's this function and we're waiting for like user input to um, to get the URL to send to so like the user will send their uh, their user info and say okay my messages go to here and so uh, that's why you have to um, wait inside main uh, to get this so then we're imagining there's probably like a, a loop or something but here we're just going to say fetch URL um, and then there we go so URL <coughs> is a string 
and now now that we have the string then um, then we can initialize this uh, this logger so then we go global logger dot set and then then we stick it in so we go uh, I wonder if this can be seen mm, let's uh, hold on a second mm -hmm. there we go Okay, global logger. So we set it. Uh, we stick in the logger, and then we just uh, initialize it with. Um, so logs are going to be uh, mutex new, and then inside that you have uh, just uh, empty vec, and then the URL. So we got that now. So we can stick it in there, and then client is just going to be uh, <clears throat> client default. It's just a request client, and we're not going to do anything with it. Actually, I should have done that. No. Silly me. Okay, and then it might not work, so we're going to uh, to unwrap, and then let's just make sure that uh, I didn't do anything weird. Okay, looks fine. Uh, okay, so we have this global logger set up, and then so later on, uh, well, first let's um, now that's set. Let's uh, let's get it, and you'll remember get. Is going to be an option ref t, so um, it's uh, it's not giving you by value; it's giving you a reference. Um, we know we initialized it, so we're going to unwrap, and we're just doing a uh, just a test here. And then we've got the logs, so we're going to touch the logs, and then let's go. Uh, now it's a mutex, so lock unwrap. So now we have access to the mutex, and then let's push a log in there so we'll say log and then the message i'm going to copy and paste this because it's not so interesting so everything is going well timestamp like that so you can see that works i'm just going to format this and then at the very end let's print this lo global logger and see what's inside. And there you can see it's got the um, actually pretty print is always better. That's better. So you can see it's a logger inside. There's the uh, the logs themselves, and you can see uh, the data. So there is our first message. It's saying everything's going well. It's got a timestamp. Blah blah blah, and then the rest of it is just like the uh, information on the client and so on. So that is um, so yeah, you can see one cell is uh, is fairly easy that way. And um, so the interesting thing about it, you can imagine always going like global logger, get unwrap, and so on could be um, a little bit uh, tedious later on if you're using it a lot. So um, whoops. So what you want to do later on is. Um, Let's say, um, I don't know, read logs, read logs like that. So um, what you would do is you are implementing logger, but inside there, it's actually going to here. So global logger dot, uh, what is it? Get dot uh, logs um, like that. Uh, do, 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 get dot unwrap dot logs I think that should do it so let's just go uh, read logs um, and so the interesting thing is we're implementing logger but it's um but it's uh we don't have to pass anything here because it's uh, it's a uh, global static so it's all we're doing is um like there's no uh, self or actually that would be um yeah, logger, logger read logs like that. So it would be like a, what's it called? A associated um, function. There you go. So logger read logs. So you could um, you could do that. Um, yeah, there's a there's a lot of ways to do it because these function this function here this method is a method on on logger and uh, and not the global logger, which is a one cell inside there. Um, there's, or you could have a, you could just have this be a standalone function, um, because you know this is not necessarily 
like you don't actually need an instance of a of a logger to do it. So you can just do that. You can do read logs. And then you just have the standalone function that just uh, grabs it. So there's like a lot of uh, interesting ways to uh, to implement this when you have a global logger and you end up having these um, maybe standalone functions, or you can uh, you can still do it inside this uh, this logger struct. But you can see there's a lot of uh, interesting ways to make it happen when you have a once cell, and that's where that um, that flexibility comes from. There's a there's a, you kind of pick your own way to uh, to do it, and there's actually even a um, lazy. There's another thing here, lazy initialized global data. And so if you, um, so if you kind of want to do lazy static, but you are, you're starting to uh, prefer one cell, you can actually just use the one cell crate and then you use this, uh, this get or init thing. And it's basically the, uh, the same thing. And I think uh, they were also made by the same person, if I remember correctly. I think I said that before and then forgot, but I think I, uh, yeah, I think it is. So yeah, that's, uh, that's one cell. And, uh, you're going to see it uh, more and more, in, uh, and one day you'll see it in the standard library too.